हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल फिजिक्स एंड एनिमेशन सो वी आर बैक विद द न्यू वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन दिस वीडियो इज द इलेवंथ पार्ट ऑफ द ऑनगोइंग सीरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन द टॉपिक्स ऑन विच वी विल डिस्कस टूडे आर वट इज सेल्फ इंडक्शन एंड बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन इंडक्टर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन वट इज सेल्फ इंडक्शन to understand it let's take an electric circuit consisting of a coil a battery having an emf of 5 volt which can flow a maximum possible current of 10 amperes in a circuit and a switch to start and stop the current flow in an electric circuit now we all know that if we switch on or close the circuit the current will start flowing in a circuit with the highest possible magnitude provided by the battery's emf and a coil will develop its magnetic field like a bar magnet is everything going well or is there something missing okay let me ask you a question is there anything in this world that could happen within no time obviously not it means when we switch on and close the circuit the battery will also take some time to flow current as per the capability of its emf This means the battery will also take some time to reach its highest possible electric current value and EMF. This time could be significantly less, but there will be some time. Now let's find out what will happen with the coil. We have already studied that magnetic field strength B of such a coil or solenoid is directly proportional to turns density small n. That is number of turns capital n per unit length l and current i so by removing sign of proportionality we get magnetic field strength b equal to mu not n i where mu not is constant of permeability of free space we are not adding or removing turns and length remains unchanged therefore turns density n is also constant the only variable is current i consequently a coil's magnetic field strength b only depends on current i therefore as the current varies the magnetic field strength will also change let's repeat the same experiment in slow motion and observe how current and the magnetic field comes into the picture as we close the circuit by turning on the switch so let's start visualizing as soon as we switch on the initial current starts changing quickly let us assume initially 1 amperes of current with the emf of battery flows very fast and will change quickly from 0 to 1 amperes and we just learned that the magnetic field strength of the coil depends on the magnitude of the current as current changes very fast magnetic flux linking to a cross section of the coil also changes very fast and we know that faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction tell us that the magnitude of emf and current induced depends upon how rapidly the magnetic flux changes that is the rate of change of magnetic flux therefore a coil induces 1 ampere of current and emf of 5 volt like the battery now according to lenz law we know that direction of induced emf and current will be in such a way to oppose its cause in this case it is an increasing magnetic flux which occurs when the battery starts flowing current in the coil therefore fighting emf of 5 volt and electric current of 1 amperes should begin flowing in the opposite direction to generate an opposing magnetic field so that net current flow in circuit will become zero now as battery is delivering 5 volts consistently therefore battery again pushes charges to flow 2 amperes of current but this time there is an opposition by the charges which are already entered therefore the current does not increase as fast as in the previous case this time if the rate of change of current 
and then magnetic flux is less than the previous. Thus, according to Faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction, magnitude of EMF induced will also be less. And by Lenz law, the opposite EMF will also be less. Let us assume the opposite EMF induced by a coil is 3 volt this time. And net EMF will be 5 minus 3, that is 2 volts. And net current will be some positive value this time, in the direction where the battery want to flow it. In this similar way, the battery will consistently deliver 5 volts. The current change is becoming slower due to opposition. So the magnitude of opposing EMF will also decay with time. Finally, the battery will dominate the circuit and flow the maximum and constant current of 10 amperes. Such a phenomenon in which a coil produces a magnetic field which links with its own turning and as a result an induced EMF is generated across it is called self-induction. And such a coil or electrical component used to oppose sudden changes in current is called an inductor. Inductors are also known as coils or chokes. Now let's plot the graph for opposite EMF induced by the coil and net current flowing in a circuit with time t when we switch on. Let's first plot the graph for the opposite EMF induced by the coil with time t when we switched on. So we had seen when we switched it on, due to quick change in current by the battery, the coil generated maximum opposite EMF of 5 volt and then dropped to 3 and finally becomes 0 volt in a way to form a curve profile. The initial magnitude of the opposite EMF drop is very fast and at the end the magnitude of this opposite EMF drop becomes slow. Now let's plot the graph for net current flow in a circuit with time t when we switch on. As we had seen, when we switched on, coil generated the maximum opposite EMF and made the initial net current flow equal to zero. Therefore, net current flow starting from zero increases quickly when just switched on and finally increased slowly to reach maximum and constant value. That's all for this video. In the next part, we will move ahead in this topic and derive the mathematical expression related to self-induction and inductance of an inductor and will also understand how inductor will react on turning of the switch. Thanks for watching friends. If this video really helped you, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video.